Hey everybody, it's Big John back again. A couple month or so ago, my father-in-law got me a Harbor Freight, the five drawer tool cart, and the lime green, and uh, kind of an upgrade for the shop. And I was able to take the center box out of that, take it up, consolidate some stuff, move more into my cart, and uh, I took that center box and the little box I had uh, used for a tool cart up to the house so I can keep some stuff up there. And uh, I'm not gonna do a whole tour or anything, just kind of show you some modifications that I made, how I got it set up for just a DIYer. I can, I, I'm set up to do some pretty in-depth stuff you know mostly older vehicles this this is about the newest i work on myself and i can't even do everything to it that's my 2008 silverado and uh, it's kind of down at the moment with some I, i'm pretty sure coil issues but first thing i did was uh cut this rubber mat and like i said it's not a real thick mat but it cut the fit fits in there nice i need to glue it down and uh still have the lip there so stuff won't roll off of it and i just i like having that tray that's a nice little addition to the box there is a tray that got, my dad always had on that snap-on roller down there. It's a Craftsman folding tray. It's not nearly as heavy-duty as this or quite as big, but uh, I like it. And then I blacked out the drawer handles. I, they, they just pop off. If you pull on them, they just pull off. And then I scuffed them up with a piece of of uh, SOS pad or steel wool or anything you want to scuff them up with. Just to get that shine off of them. And uh, shot them with a coat of primer and a coat of black. And then I took the U.S. General sticker off of it. The little badge it was right here. And that badge right there is off of a 57 Chevrolet Bel Air off the hood. I just scuffed it up, painted it black, kind of matched the whole black and green theme. And same with this one, the SS logo is off of an Impala, I believe. Not 100% sure that could have been off a of Chevelle or a Nova, but I believe I took that off of an Impala in a junkyard. The, the Chevrolet strip off the 57 was actually off of a 57 my dad had when he was a kid, and the hood was around here forever and ever and ever, and it was all rotted out. And uh, before we took it to the junkyard or scrapped the hood, I pulled that off of it. And then, uh, maybe you open it up. Got all my sockets in here. My kind of standard on this side, and metric on that side, my metric quarters back in the back. All my extensions and adapters and stud remover and swivels and all that stuff kind of in there. I have my main go-to common size sets of allen and torx uh my quarter inch ratchets down there and some three eighths impact that are older made in the usa craftsman impact sockets for three eighths gun uh irwin brand strip screw rem or stripped rounded head nut removers uh that's just a piece of brass that I have out here. Big old piece of brass. Uh, it's nice to pound on stuff with. 
so you don't mess up what you're hitting. Uh, over here, I got my half inch ratchets, uh, half inch breaker bar, my quarter inch snap on nut driver, screwdrivers. Uh, we got my flat screwdrivers and my my uh, Phillips over here, and then my 3 8 ratchets down in that hole, and a 3 8 breaker bar, little magnetic tool, uh, a couple magnetic trays, a couple lights, little magnetic keychain. If you're going to check out a car and you want to know an old car, you want to know if it's bonded, there you go. Take that, slip that in your pocket. Uh, that little hook came with the yellow light up here, the Bayco light. And it's just the keys to my trailblazer hanging in there until I can get it fixed. And then junk drawer. Uh, yeah, junk drawer tape and RTV, JB Weld, my multimeter, tape measure levels chargers that kind of shit uh plier drawer pretty self-explanatory uh picks chisels cutting tools files anything pretty much anything with a handle on it uh there's some pr more precision stuff back in there that's little machinist tools measuring tools stuff like that and this little snap-on box doesn't have anything in it one of these days i'll find a use for it uh that was my dad my dad's whole quarter inch kit fit in that box every quarter inch socket he had his quarter inch ratchet extensions everything fit in that kit in that box that's kind of just I grew up having that in the toolbox. I'll find a use for it one of these days. Uh, put something in it. My wrenches, able to fit all my wrenches in here. My met metric and standard, got my, fit my line wrenches, my stubbies, my ratcheting wrenches, all of it in here. I just gotta get some holders. I wanna get more of these rails. Uh, those rails are actually Mac brand, I think. They came with this set of wrenches over here. That was my dad's. I'm pretty sure you can get that same style from Ernst or one of the other companies that do that kind of stuff. And uh, kind of my favorite rails. Uh, and then down here I got my big slip joint pliers, hammers, pry bar, stuff like that. Uh, that from grinding wheels, wire discs, flap wheels, whatever, uh, some saw blades, zip ties, stuff like that down there. And underneath, uh, let me get down here. I've got both my torque wrenches, my three eighths and my half inch. That half inch really doesn't fit anywhere but on the bottom of a cabinet like this. I, before the bottom of that snap on Roller box was about the only place I could get it to fit. Uh, and then an old oil can with a poor spout. I like that. I don't know. It's old, kind of outdated. But when you do oil changes from a five gallon or five quart jug, it's nice having that. And then a funnel, just on and funnel. The that tote's got. A bunch of hitch pins and balls and clevises and stuff like that in here out for doing you know farm work pulling trailers hooking stuff up to trucks tractors whatever i can do it out of that tote and that one's gonna i haven't got rags in it yet but that's what that one's for is for rags and that's how i got my five drawer cart set up And then I do want to get some kind of a surface mat, something to put up here uh, for doing small projects, rebuilding carburetors, rebuilding throttle bodies, stuff like that. 
I've seen soldering mats, but I, I kind of want something that'll cover the whole thing. Uh, I don't know. Never seen a soldering mat that big, but something along those lines I'm looking for for the top. And then come around here. I have this old extension cord right here. It's just an old, old metal house wiring box that uh, some run a cord out of and put a cover on it. I'm going to change this out to two or to three prong receptacles because they're fairly cheap and that's the way to do it, right? And then I'm going to put a fix some magnets to the back of it so that that will be magnetic right to the back of the box. And, it can, and then put some kind of a hook over here where I can wrap the cord up around it. And I haven't figured out what I want to do for wrapping the cord up. Um, might even make it big enough to carry a small extension cord with me. Because that way I can just run power tools right off of the box. And then the other thing that... Uh, my father-in-law gave me the idea for when he got the box for me was the casters and uh, I know a lot of guys change these over to having four swivel casters on them and that doesn't really bother me I, I, it moves just fine the way it is but I think I am going to go to Harbor Freight or uh, maybe the farm store up town closer to me and I'm gonna get the uh, pneumatic casters that are bigger and have air up tires on them pneumatic wheels that way I can roll it out there have it out in the driveway roll it up to the house if I need to something like that and I think there's even room under there behind this oil can that I can stick my small battery charger under there uh, my jump box is a the big rolling battery charger jump box together but at least I can put my small one under there and uh, have it you no know, thanks for watching that's my five drawer tool cart